Good morning from Disturbia. <clears throat> We've got that glowing sky again this morning set up in a semi-washboard pattern. ACDC, we're being charged up like batteries. <coughs> You're never gonna hear anybody talk about this, even people who do chemtrail videos. They're just telling you that it's military jets <coughs> from airports that make a lot of noise. These do not make any noise. They fly straight up, straight down, diagonally across the sky. Probably they are holograms. Our perception is being controlled from the ground, ground control, air liquid. <clears throat> the forces that should not be want to tell you what you see. They don't want you to know the truth and a lot of people are not connecting the dots. People can't make the connections. They don't want to make the connections. Reality is horrendous. The forces that should not be are treacherous. Ever since Trump was voted in, now they're talking about <coughs> new elections. Well, they had been talking about that before. But when Trump came in to office, look at this poll here, black and white. They set up polls all across the sky on top of each other, beside each other. Ever since Trump won, it's a selection anyway. You shouldn't even really take part, of, part in it because it's just a show. Forces that do not be, consider themselves so much better than us. We are to them cannon fodder. We are to them the cattle class. And as you know, they want to get rid of beef. They want you eating vegetables that have grown in uh, God knows what they even are. It looks like a vegetable, but it's not a vegetable. It doesn't taste like a vegetable, and it will wreck your digestive system. <coughs> I found that out with carrots a couple of years ago. You just wonder what life would be like without the radio. What if we didn't have this radio telling us what we think, telling us what to think, telling us what's happening in the world. Every day going on and on about counterfeit Israel, about Ukraine. What if we didn't have that? What if we didn't know? There wouldn't be all this talk about war because we haven't been invaded yet. <coughs> what if we didn't have cell phones? Why do you think they call it a cell phone? They're bringing biology into technology. And in fact, I don't even believe that cells exist. <clears throat> what the Lord God Almighty has created is a miracle. It's a miracle of life, the breath of life. The life is in the blood. We're not told what blood is because the forces that should not be, though they know quite a bit about it, they don't know how to synthesize it. You know why? Because the life, the breath of life, is in the blood. How often do we read in the Bible, he gave up the ghost. He gave up his breath, and from that moment he ceased to be. He ceased to exist. If God would take his breath away, we would immediately, everything would collapse into a pile of dust. And maybe it would even disappear. And this is what the forces that should not be want to do with the Lord God Almighty. They think that they finally found the key to destroying all of creation and God. They're working at it with their chemtrails. They're, they're, they're going at it with their nuclear and their electricity.
but you see we're still here and so they haven't yet been successful and they won't be because God is going to let them reach very high heights and then he's going to bring them all back down again just like he did with the Tower of Babel just like he did at Sodom and Gomorrah he's ruined civilizations There are towns that were just simply deserted. I think one of them is called Petra, where they had these houses and rocks. <clears throat> they actually dug out the contents of, of mountains and, and built buildings in them. It's, it's fascinating what mankind has been able to do. Of course, always under the auspices and guiding all-seeing eye of the devil who gives them the information how to do it <clears throat> there's a lot of disturbing anti-developments going on here especially in regard to the so-called state and children they want your children they want to <clears throat> the forces that should not be want to Um, they want parents and their children fighting. They, they want children to realize that they have rights and they can take their parents to court. And who is going to father these children? The state will. The state is encroaching ever more and impinging ever more upon our privacy. They tell you that, that your privacy is valuable to them, and it is valuable to them. They want to take it away from you with your consent. It's just really too much. We've had a drop in temperature here in Disturbia. The, the fact is that it, in reality it is cold and they cover up the cold with chemtrails, with fog, with rain um, and of course it's all shot through with electricity. This is how they keep the temperatures aloft. This is how they drive the temperatures with mercury and <clears throat> when they don't spray as much when they don't inject as much electricity, the temperature drops. Now you can see we have rain here. I woke up and when I went out, it, it felt cold. You could just feel the chill in the air, which is exactly how it should be. I keep hearing, when winter comes, when winter comes, what do they mean by that? That's another euphemism, probably. When winter comes, winter is here. A couple years ago, in October, I remember this well because I went out to my car and it had a flat tire. And <clears throat> I had to call um, ADAC. I had this insurance that comes in and it'll tow you or, or fix a flat tire. It was minus eight degrees in the beginning, in the beginning of October. And that's how it is. It's getting colder and colder. We're in the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is darkness and that light. <coughs> but the forces that should not be want to make you believe that it's so bright and the sun is getting cl closer and Nibiru is on his way and all kinds of other baloney. Why people fall for this junk, <coughs> I don't understand. It's all lies of the devil. And you know these, like I was saying, these forces that should not be, these politicians, they don't call themselves consumers. They don't call themselves users. They don't even call themselves citizens. They're always talking down to us from on high because they believe that they are ministers. Ministers of what? Ministers of ball. All of them. It doesn't matter which party they belong to. This is what they're all about. They're all about ball. That's why you never hear even the opposition talking about chemtrails. <clears throat> well, we're not sure they exist. We need to find, we still need to find that out from the so-called scientists. How often have I heard that? I used to write to a politician here named Gregor Gysi, and then I wrote to Zava Wagen connect, connect because back in the day I thought that they were legit, and now I realize none of them are legit. It's always the opposition who is speaking rationality and intelligibly. And it's always the opposition that gets shot down. And there's a reason for that. 
They just want you to believe that if this person gets into office, just like with Donald Trump now, then everything's going to change. It is going to change, and it's going to change for the worse. You should not put your trust in man. We find this all throughout the Bible. Bible. Why are you putting your trust in man? Put your trust in God, because the minute you start putting your trust in men, you are idol worshiping, and they are always going to defeat you. They are always going to deceive you because when they get power, they, in power, they get corrupt. And these people that are in in the hierarchy, they are corrupt already. They're born into it. Take a look. We've got a little bit of snow here. I was just reading end of the week. I don't in in England. It was started snowing a couple days ago when we had nine degrees. And on the weekend, it's supposed to go up to 14 there, and I suppose it'll be really cold here. This is how the forces that should not be do. It is like a seesaw. It's a seesaw. Here it's hot, there it's cold. <coughs> what, the, what it is, is it's a false balance. Everything's off balance. Everything's off kilter. And, um... For some reason, you're, you're not going to hear about this. Not even pastors are going to talk about this kind of thing. You know, because they don't want you to know. They want you to believe that it's because of CO2, because it's, it's because of animals, it's because of you. You breathe too much. Wait a minute, God made creation. You're saying that he made it wrong? Yes, that's what they're saying. They can remake it. They can make it better, just like the $6 million man. We can rebuild him. We can make him better. They're also talking in euphemisms about the Tower of Babel. They can rebuild it. They can make it better. New and improved so God won't know what they're doing. They're building it all across the earth. Instead of going up, they're going across the earth. They're sealing up the ground so that it's not fit for farming. How can you farm on houses? How can you farm on grocery stores that we don't need? They started building... Um, where I live in 2022, and now um, that whole area, which used to be sand, it was a soil made of sand, and you can grow anything in that. They used to grow asparagus there. No, they're not, they don't need that, they need housing. Yes, we do need housing, why is that? Because they're flooding us with people from Ukraine, Afghanistan, Syria, Turkey, God knows where. Oh, we need these people here because there's nobody else to do the work. Wait a minute. What about all these Germans? <laughs> you know, I don't really know all that many Germans that are leaving Germany. I've heard people say that they want to leave Germany. But <clears throat> when it comes down to brass tacks, they realize that the grass is not always greener on the other side. I knew somebody that wanted to go to um, Spain because she has relatives there. And she went to visit there and she said, my gosh, we had pretty near 50 degrees. This is a couple years ago now. She said, I'm not going there. It's way too hot. Poor animals and so on and so forth. Well, I'll tell you what, I measured 50 degrees on my balcony a couple years ago. I think it was 2018 in the 70th year of Mystery of Babylon. That's one thing people don't even talk about. They don't talk about Babylon. <clears throat> you know, Babylon in the Bible is actually Esau. Babylon in the Bible is Esau. The Chaldeans are Esau. Mount Zaire is Esau. Idumea is Esau. And they created all these different names. They generated them to hide the identity of Esau and what exactly he did to um, his brother's children, Judah. Just read Ezekiel 35 and Ezekiel 36. Esau saw his chance... <clears throat> to take over both Israel and Judah and call, the, call them his own. And that's exactly what he did. Read Abadiah. Read Habakkuk 1 and 2. Read about the bloody city, Jerusalem. People are so hoodwinked. And you know why? Because they're lazy. They don't want to read the Bible. And I'm, I was one of them. I always had these questions, but, uh, you know, I didn't want to read the Bible. In fact, I did read the Bible. I tried reading it. It was too hard. So when it's too hard, then you go to a teacher, but you're not getting taught. That's the whole idea behind teaching, that they feed themselves and they leave you starving. 
It's the same way in Islam. It's the same way in Babylonian Judaism. Why do they call it the Babylonian Talmud? Because it's Adamite. But they don't want you to know. You're going to hear from the Babylonians that America is Edom. I used to look up a website called Noahide um, News. And um, the person who ran it, I uh, forget what his name was, Roberts, I think something or other. He died of cancer. But I, I had a couple of discussions with him. And I said, um, America is not Edom. It's run by Esau who calls himself a Jew because he says he's of Judah and he knows he's not of Judah that's why he calls himself a Jew he knows he's not an Israelite that's why he calls himself an Israeli and I, th that's the reason why I do these videos because I, I found the truth finally after many many years of wondering how on earth can Antichrist mean salvation to the whole world how can that be true? How can that be possible? It's not possible. You see, this is the conundrum that the dialectic puts you in. It catapults a person straight up into a, a, a suspension of belief. People say you have to suspend your belief when you go to move. You have to suspend, you suspend your belief when you go to church too. They're not telling you the truth there. You know, and I used to defend Paul in a certain way because he did write some things that were good. Uh, for example, oh, is it in Galatians or Ephesians? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't remember. But he does, he does let on who the circumcision is, and the circumcision is of Esau, not of Jacob Israel. But this Romans 9, 10, and 11 really is what gets a lot of people and people are not the problem with people is that they're not willing to learn they're not willing to understand the truth they're dead set on deception they're dead set on deception well if Paul said it I believe it that settles it yes but what about the Messiah what about the rest of the Bible what about the prophets the disciples of the Messiah were Israelites come out of captivity. Isaiah 9, Isaiah 11, Isaiah 60, Jeremiah 46, 16, Ezekiel 11, 17, Ezekiel 37. Please read them. Please understand what really went on. We are the children of Jacob Israel. That's why they want to eradicate the white European. European in Russia is Yevreya which means Hebrew, Hebrew. The language has changed over the years. This is, this is well known. That's why we have languages. God mixed up the languages. But we have roots and this E-V, that it goes back to Eve actually. Yev, it means fruitful. It's the same root as Ephraim. E-V-E-P-H, because in some languages the V is pronounced like an F. And on and on it goes. And the forces that should not be do not want you to know this. And if somebody tells you, oh, Peshaw, that's not the truth. Oh, baloney, you're lying. Well, you haven't read the Bible then. Just read Genesis. Just read Genesis. Where there's a comparison between Joseph and Judah. It's showing you that Judah was quite like Esau. Judah was cut off. But you see, the reason why God brought the captivity was to sift both Israel and Judah through the nations, Amos 9, 9, in order to perfect the seed. Because there is a seed of Jacob Israel that will continue to, to flourish, even under persecution. You see, this is the test. This is how the diamonds are made and the, and the precious gems, through pressure. It's not this easy believism junk. It's not, oh, we're going to fly away because God just wouldn't beat up his bride before dinner. Oh my goodness, that is really satanic. That's Satan talking. So glib, so it just disrespectful. You can't get any more um, unrepentant than that. I don't need to repent. I'm going to keep on sinning that grace may abound. Satanic.
There is no rapture. They may, they may kill a demographic and say, oh, these people were Christians. They've gone on the rapture. We don't know what they're going to do, but we do know that men's hearts are going to fail them for fear. And what's coming is going to be very frightful. The thing is, God knew the end from the beginning. He knew before he even created mankind, what everybody was going to do, when they were going to do it, how they were going to do it, and if he was, if they were going to condemn themselves or not. You see, it's really not God that does the condemning. It's we ourselves that do it. We condemn ourselves when we reject our God and we refuse to repent because we think we're too good for God.